Well, hello and welcome to another episode of WebMonkey. And today I am going to teach you how you can add Google Fonts to your website. Now, the website I'm going to add the fonts to is my Dawn of Justice film website, which was built using WordPress. But the method I'm going to show you would work also if your website was built using custom HTML and CSS code. So let's get cracking. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import two different font families. One family would be for the regular text, while the other font family would cover the titles of the posts, you know, the H3s, the H4s, H1s, H2s, and so on and so forth. So let's jump over to Google Fonts, which is fonts.google.com. And right off the bat, if you look to the left, you would see it says viewing 809 of 809 font families. So basically, Google has over 800 options for you to choose from for free. And this is kind of interesting because I know people who spend money buying fonts from Adobe and Typefont and Typekit and WebKit and, you know, what have you, which I think is a, is a little bit ridiculous, you know, considering that Google has all these font families for free. Now, unless you are looking for some uh, really ancient Chinese, you know, Japanese, Hindu, weirdo style kind of font family, I'm pretty sure that Google would have font families that you would like. So anyway, but I'm here. I'm not going to judge you. If you have the money and there's a particular font you really like from Adobe, by all means, go ahead and buy it. I don't have any money on the other hand, so I'm just going to get my font families from Google for free. Now, over here to the right, we do have filtering options that you can uh, use to make your search more refined. Uh, you can choose uh, if you wanted your cat your style of fonts to be serif or sans serif uh, if it's trending uh, number of styles thickness land width, all that good stuff you can make use of the filter bar to the right however i know the font families i like i like railway now when you see a font family that looks promising you can actually type in the text box just to give you an idea of how the font actually looks like so I could say uh, you know hey what's up you know stuff like that and okay so I, I like railway so once you like a font family uh, you could also by the way you could also choose the uh, the, the size of the text uh, you could change the style from regular to italic and so on and so forth anyway I like railway so when you like a font family simply click on the plus button to add that so now it says one family selected so now let's pick one more family and i'm just going to go with ubuntu so same process plus button so now we have two families selected so let's just make our exit i don't want to be too greedy so click on the tab and then over here we have the message that says load time is fast now of course this is because we are only uh importing two font families if you really like Google fonts and you wanted to import all the font families, you could go ahead and do that, but the load time would, it would be really, really bad. So by all means, uh, minimize the number of families that you're importing. All right, down here we have two methods of embedding. You could go with the standard format or with the at import style. Now the standard would work perfectly well if you're using a custom uh, HTML CSS website. Uh, you would simply paste the code into the head of your HTML document. I, on the other hand, am using a WordPress website, so I'm just gonna click on Add Import, and then I'm gonna copy this line of code, and I'm going to ignore the style tags, and then I'm going to jump down to my notepad file over here, which is my style.css file, and I'm just gonna paste that line of code. So now I am importing the font families railway and Ubuntu, but that's not all. Apart from importing the styles, you now ha act, have to actually add the CSS code itself to your website. Now over here it says specify in CSS, uh, font family, this, this, this. I'm just going to copy this code as well. I'm just copy that. And then I'm going to jump back to my notepad file. And I am going to paste that just over here. So what I'm going to do is for the headers, which is H1 to H6, Let's use the railway. So I'm just going to remove this line over here. And then for the for the regular text, I'm just going to use Ubuntu. So let me cut this off. 
and where do we have our p tags over there okay i'm going to paste that now let's save this and let's take a look at the website i'm going to do a hard refresh and as you can see the text has changed so now we're using the font families that we imported from google so that's pretty much how to add font families from google to your website uh, if you enjoyed the video please subscribe uh, like the video and of course i will see you next time cheers and good luck with google font families bye